Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024. I am Pastor Scott coming to you on this eighth day of Christmas from Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. This morning I'm coming to you for my study, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I'm not really sitting in my study this early on New Year's Day. In fact, I am off enjoying the day with my family, and I hope you are as well. Um, this is pre-recorded. You may not have been able to tell. But today's devotion talks about paying attention to things, and I wanted to be sure early on this New Year's Day that we we're able to spend a little bit of time together and, and start the new year off right. Continuing to read from our devotion, Come Emmanuel, we read today from Peter's second letter, 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 17 through 19. Christ Jesus received honor and glory from God the Father when that voice was conveyed to him by the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, my Beloved with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. You will do well to be attentive to this as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Pay attention. This morning, this New Year's morning, we wake up with the promise of a new year. What a gift from God that this day and this new year is. In our devotion, we are invited to pay attention to what surrounds us. The beauty of creation, the potential of a new day, the love of family, friends, and neighbors. We have much to be thankful for. Our scripture reading from 2 Peter invites us to pay attention to Jesus the one whose birth we celebrated one short week ago. His birth began to make all things new for creation, for you and for me. And in, his, and in our reading, his identity is affirmed um, in Peter's recollection of the time that he spent up on the Mount of Transfiguration with Jesus and with James and with John. For there God the Father declared from the heavens that Jesus is indeed his son, the one who was promised, the one who with the Holy Spirit conceived the child with Mary, who was born of that Virgin Mary given to Joseph to name. We've been talking about that. The identity of Jesus was confirmed or affirmed at his birth, affirmed at his baptism, which we haven't read about during these 12 days of Christmas, and affirmed on that Mount of Transfiguration by God before these witnesses. And my friends, it continues to be affirmed in our lives today, affirmed as we read Scripture and see how God has revealed God's self and God's love to us, affirmed by those who believe and have experienced the presence of the light in our life, as this new year begins, I invite and encourage you to pay attention to how God reveals God's self to you this year. Is it in the words of a, of a caring neighbor? Is it through the words of scripture? Is it through the wonder of creation? How and where is God speaking to you and revealing God's self to you? And what in this new year is God calling you to do. Pay attention. Pay attention and then respond. Follow the one who came in light in order that you too might walk in that same light. Happy New Year. Take a nap if you stayed up late last night and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow um, for another of the 12 days of Christmas.